The Internet of Things, a field of dreams for the thousands of companies and developers all hoping to capitalise on a market of 30 million or so connected devices by 2020, worth to the ecosystem an estimated $1.7 trillion. But smart watches and remote doorbells are a far cry from ultra-reliable machine communications and life-critical healthcare systems. Here at the second annual IoT Solutions World Congress event in Barcelona, the focus is firmly on the industrial IoT and its key vertical markets. We found that there was a big opportunity between uh, mi um, mixing technologies with every vertical market. So big companies like uh, Intel, GE, etc., they were uh, in a hype, they were saying uh, the Internet of Things will be big, will be huge, everything will be connected, but then real industries like a general hospital or even a, a, a truck builder, uh, they didn't know anything about it. They felt like that was a, th a techie thing that was not related with their business. So there was a big opportunity connecting this IoT with real business. To attract uh, pro pro uh, best professionals internationally, you need uh, high quality content. And our, we structured this conference call in six tracks. Uh, four of them are vertical business, uh, vertical markets, like it's uh, healthcare, it's manufacturing, it's transport and logistics and energy. And the other is uh, innovation and innovation and business transformation. So uh, that's, that's our focus. We focus in delivering content of high quality to each of these uh, vertical markets on how their business is going to transform because of the IoT and what are their opportunities with the IoT. So what role will telcos play? Will they be confined to being providers of basic connectivity or can they create greater value through platforms and targeted solutions. The expertise and the capabilities that telecom operators and other parts of the telecom industry have built up over the years is, is extremely valuable and not something that can be replaced by others. We are all reliant on the telecom companies to be able to give us the ability to deliver more and more to our customers. Networks are changing, they're getting increasingly faster, more reliable, more widespread, more ubiquitous. And so us being able to work very closely with the telecoms to be able to every day deliver more value to our customers is what we're all about. And so essentially what the telecom operators are getting to see is tremendous amount of data that they'll have to connect through these 50 billion to 500 billion connected machines and each of the machines will generate a lot of data. And so I think it is a partnership between companies like Schneider Electric in the world of machine to machine to with the telco operators because we are not in the business of connectivity. IoT plays to some huge strengths that the telcos have got. So security, uh, reliability, interoperability, you know, the ability to do um, billing, um, uh, provisioning. I mean, all of those things are things that telcos have been successfully doing for many, many years. They're all critical to IoT. And I think that's um, something that telcos need to understand, how they leverage those advantages to make sure they're a key player in, in the industry going forward. Key to the success of IoT and the vast ecosystem that is growing up around it will be interoperability. What we're seeing is we're seeing a lot more interoperability between the different components, the hardware talking to the network securely, the network talking securely to the software platforms and then to the analytics and so on and so forth. And I think we're really moving into what I would call the modular age of the Internet of Things, where before we were into the craft age. I mean, IoT is a method to get data and information. The value creation is usually done at the higher level in the enterprise. They've got to consume that and create, create objectives and, and business decisions. So our partners tend to be folks selling the turnkey solutions at the top end, which we don't do, and quite frankly, no IoT company does that. If they do, then they're probably not really an IoT company. Uh, last edition, our first edition, we got uh, 88 exhibitors and 4,500 visitors. In this second edition, we'll double everything. We'll double exhibitors, we double visitors, we got 170 exhibitors, more than 8,000 visitors. And the important thing is not just the number, because this is about uh, real inter human interaction and high quality profile visitor, 
we've got uh, visitors from over 70 countries on five continents and very focused on vertical markets. Next year we will break these four uh, uh, vertical markets and will be industries and maybe we'll go to retail industry, to other agriculture industry, to other industries in which we were not focusing today. This is Guy Daniels for Telecom TV at the IoT Solutions World Congress in Barcelona.